headed away. Matty Walsh is there, has a go. Super ball. Oh, not being a f***ing ounce of energy about ya. Come on, boys. Camilo trying to find Cuba. Go on, Toby. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? And welcome back. It's FA Cup time. Sebi, we are ready. It's the nice. second qualifying round, the furthest we've ever got before. Well, level with the furthest we've got before. We play Hornchurch today, away in the sunshine. What are we thinking? It's just glorious, isn't it? So, I thought the summer was over, mate. We've got a respite. We've got a respite, and we've got a chance to go deep in the most magical football tournament in the history of the game. Very much so. Tough draw. We are playing Hornchurch. They're a team in the league above, of course. A team we know well. They they, they won the league last season yeah. that we were in. They're doing Impressive. well. They're sort of mid-table in the National League South right now. They beat us twice in the league last year. 3-0 both times. If you remember both games, they were both 0-0 yeah. late on in the game. We were in them. First game, they kind of turned on the skill that they have. They've got some big name players. Second game, uh, we actually had a red card. Harry yep. Hayson got sent off late in the, in the second half. And then they, Changed again, the turned it on 1-3-0 both times. So we can't argue with those results, but there is some sort of previous that we can compete. Uh, we did actually play them a third time last year and we won 7-0. However, they did play their under 18s in the County Cup, so we can't really count that one. What do we expect from today? Obviously, FA Cup rules before the first round proper, replays are still a thing. Yep. They've got rid of the replays at the later stages, but if this was a draw, it would go to Tuesday night rematch. Well, look, what I will say is when we had our best ever campaign in this very tournament, we every game when we went deeper, we were the underdogs. Yes. We were the underdogs again today. And they went to penalties. I quite well. like it that way. I'll be honest, I quite like it that way. Hornchurch has got the pressure on them. Tags are off the back of a really good win in the league. Season's sort of woken up a little bit, so dare to dream. It's true. Dare yeah. to dream. We, another stat for you. We have won uh, three games in a row in yep. this season, but also last week we beat Hastings. They'd beaten us twice last year. Today we play someone that beat us twice last year. Can we keep it going? Keep the positive form. You can see the crowds filling up. You guys. Let's get it done if we can. It'd be an amazing achievement. Up the tags. Let's take a look at the team devs are sending out. So in goal, we have Jack Giddens. In defence, we have Jermaine Anderson and Nathan Smith at fullback with Harry Haysom and Cuba Gording at centre-back. That's unchanged. In fact, the team is unchanged from last week. In midfield, we have Max Cornell, Matty Waldridge and Darren Foxley just ahead of them. And out wide, we have Toby Romalaren, Sakasan against his old team. He won the FA Trophy at Wembley with Hornchurch as a youngster. And up front, we have Misha Jamali. Sam Higo Higgins still injured. He also won the FA Trophy with Hornchurch, but he misses the action today. On the bench, we have Io Olacuga, Camilo Estrepo, Pedro Carvalho, Alex Bolivan, Joe Cristo, who's a brand new signing from Hornchurch. He's played nearly 200 games for Hornchurch. Uh, he's a player that Devs knows well. He's the centre midfielder. He could make his debut today for us off the bench against his former club. We also have Joshua Suke and Hussein Mardi making up the rest of the bench. As for Hornchurch, keep a look out for their goalkeeper, Mason Terry. He's on loan from West Ham. He actually spent pre-season with the West Ham first team this year. He was with Concord Rangers now league last year on loan. He's already been the goalkeeper in the team of the week in the National League South this season. Ryan Scott is their captain. He's a big commanding centre-back and he loves to score goals. He's always a threat. Liam Nash, top goal scorer for them this season with four goals already. And Sean Scannell, ex-Crystal Palace, of course. On the bench, keep a look out for Daryl McMahon. That is the manager of Hornchurch. Hasn't played himself yet, but he's an option for them off the bench. No doubt it's going to be a difficult challenge, but let's rise to the occasion. Come on, hashtag. Um, you've seen the side, we're the same, same as, as last week, um, because it's easy to keep the same side after last week. We've got a real chance today, a real, real chance, if we apply ourselves properly, if we are disciplined in what we're asked to do, uh, and if we play with belief. Right? That will give us a real, real chance. Um, set pieces are going to be massive for us. Make sure we, we're disciplined with our jobs, we'll give you your, your marking jobs, but attacking wise, think about the delivery the areas we're looking to hit as well, because we need to take their big, their big threats in the air out of the equation. And then when we get the ball, be prepared to pass, be brave, then really go and run at them. Yeah? Joe? Nah. Let's get ourselves going, come on. And Hornchurch get us underway, the home team in the blue and white kits, hashtag in the all green. Same as the beautiful pitch here at Hornchurch, which is looking very good as we get started. Seb, what's a harder game? When we played Braintree at this round in our first ever FA Cup run, there was three leagues between us. We were Essex Senior League, they were National League South. Hornchurch and National League South, probably a bit stronger than that Braintree team were who were struggling in that league at the time. But we're two leagues higher, Seb. Absolutely. I think the quality of the opponent today's game is probably obviously significantly higher. Hornchurch, not just a higher level, but you know they're a very, very good side. We know they're very well resourced. I think it's fairly level spent. I think we, I just love the underdog spirit. 
I think the Tags love a bit of magic from what's been the slow start of the season. Today could be the day where we get another special hashtag memory. Foxley going to deliver on the left foot. In towards the box, looking for Cornhill, wins his header. It's not out yet. Haysom's going to look after it here. He's got Toby on the edge if he can find him. He does. Toby fakes the first time cross. Puts in a second time, probably heavy. That's the right idea, I think. It's a bit too much on it. I think that's the right thing, though. Don't think you can dilly-dally here. Get half a yard, get the ball into the box. Ball in. It's gone past Jermaine. It's going to come over to Scannell here, who is dangerous. No shots, please, lads. Edge of the box. Ray hits it, left-footed. It had a nice movement on it. Really nice movement, and one of them where keepers rooted, really. Ball forward from Gids, looking for Cornhill. Flicks to the side. Toby heads it over towards Mish. Mish needs to hold it up. Tries to get past Will Greenidge. Box is going to be cleared. Cornhill knees it. Can he keep it on? Yes, he does. Maxi. Finds Toby. Toby looks for Foxy on the edge. Can he get on that it, left foot? He thought about it. He does hit one in the end. Back to Cornhill. Keeps it cooking. Matty Waldridge not seen too much of him oh, this game on, so Matty, far. Get back in, son. And he's been dispossessed here by Akinwande. Akinwande, powerful, getting forward. There's a ball to Scannell on the left. He needs to be looked at. I think Jermaine could have busted a gut a bit more to get back there. Cuba, up you get, son. He's headed it low. Oh, I think no. that was the one oh, where you no. want to head away nice and high, if anything. But Scannell's got it here. Fakes the cross. Edge of the box here with Balanta. Balanta does put it in back post. Looking for Nash. A little bit heavy, thankfully, for us. Heads it forward Femi for Akinwande. Akinwande on the ball. Looks to want it on his right foot. Trying to get a shot off, maybe. Goes to the edge. Chance. Goal. Charlie Adams with the strike from midfield. And that is a glimpse of the quality that Hornchurch possess, Seb. That's the danger. Look, we spent an awful lot of time and effort there trying to stop Femi getting the shot off. Then all of a sudden he's got a power, rolls it to him. And that's right in the corner. That is right in the corner. The only place it probably could go at that sort of pace and go in. And there's quality. It's a quality finish. You can't argue with it. I mean, we've been in the game thus far. Like There hasn't looked to be a huge golfing quality. They've enjoyed a little bit more of the ball probably. But that is where you see the quality, isn't it? It's the quality of finishing, the prolificness at which they take their chances. And we're going to have to be the same if we're going to have any chance of progressing. I'm a f pro because we don't get it right. No, it's just very intuitive stuff for Hornchurch. Right. Now pick, pick a pass. Max picks it out. Move Toby. it quick. Move it quick. Toby oh, to Waldridge. Matty's done well to get me. She's quite wide here as our striker. Toby, though, is filling in for him in the middle. That will be a free kick. This has got to be in between that gap. That's exactly where you've got to be. Great right ball. ball. Oh, what a save. He's onside as well. What a save for Mason Terry, denying Max Cornell, who consistently finds those areas. When the ball's on his head, you know things happen. Oh, that was a delicious ball in from Sack. We had a great line right behind it. It was exactly in between the lines. Fizzing, powerful. Max does what he does best. And you know what? Anywhere else, Ben, anywhere else other than right there, we're back in it at one all. Oh, oh have we not scored? Pray on the mistake. Pray on the mistake. Here we go. Foxley to go Mish. On. Oh, he's done well to occupy Greenish there, to be fair. Now get it moving, get it popping. You've got to get forward now, you've got to get forward now. Mish, join the attack. Toby wants it at the back Matt post. Matt has gone he's, up. He's in a bit of space. Sack's still going here, though. Can he cross? Can he get that ball out of his feet? Foot it oh. across. I think it was a cross, but Terry had to make a call. We spoke about Terry's pedigree. He just made that incredible save from Cornell, and his leap there was enormous. But it's not just the leap spin. He got, a, I think it was his left hand onto it. He flicked it 30 foot into the air and out of the way of danger. But Sack looks like he's come alive today. That great ball in for Max a minute ago. Great run down the left-hand side. When we get Sack firing like this, he's going to be a danger. Foxley corner. It's going to go towards the back post. Cuba gets up. Is that off the line? I think it might have been. Oh my I'm God not then. sure it would have actually got in the back of the net, but it was on target. Waldridge. What can you do? Cross in. Again, back post. You know, Max is competing with his own player there, Nathan Smith. Oh, oh he's touched a hand or something wow. on the way down. I mean, it's not contested that much, but... Spin, set plays, causing problems. Jermaine, headed away. Matty Waldridge is there, has a go. Oh, we know he's capable, Sebi. You don't mind it, do you? Matty Waldridge, and he's done the hard thing there. He watched that ball down, makes good contact, and you think it's going to be just straight into the heart of Mason Terry, and he's forced to make yet another save. He's made more saves than both goalkeepers so far. Sack Hassan with a chance to whip one in against his old team here. It's very low. Nathan Smith has kept it alive. 
Back to Sack. Sack with a chance to cross again. This one's a bit better. Deeper. Hayson heads it across. Chance, surely. Oh, oh my word. You're kidding me. What a head across from Harry Hayson. Looking for his centre back partner, Cuba Gordon, but they're just defending like absolute Goliaths. A million miles offside. This one wasn't. Akinwande was there. Foxy's got time to pick this one because Akinwande gave up his pursuit. Oh, good turn. Cuba's been beaten. Akinwande might shoot on the left foot. It's a block, I think, from I think it's from Toby. And what a save. Crawled in there. It's an important save that from Gids. Here it comes. For well, the front post. Oh, it's oh, gone right away it across. Everyone. It's fallen to the man that loves to score from corners, Scott. It's still not been cleared. Oh, that's unexcused. Unacceptable. Oh, unacceptable. What's happened? There, unacceptable. Then? No reason why we should not have got the ball out there. We had it off them. In the box, and we just you got to just get the ball out when there's that much danger. Really, really avoidable second. You can't take away from Hornchurch, they probably are worthy of their lead. But that is exactly the thing you cannot do against an opponent at this level. You, when you've got the ball out, you can't just give them these gifts, man. It's a frustrating one because it's a little bit like the games last season, even though there was no goal scored in the first half of those games. It's games that you feel like you're in, it's games like you feel like you've had chances. And yet, they're just more prolific. It's kind of been the story of our season last year in terms of, and this year to an extent, not taking chances when we get them. I think Mason Terry has been equal to everything we've created so far. So switch from Nash towards Akinwando. He's thinking about shooting. Right, that'll, that'll, do. that'll do, ref, I think. Well, it was a tough challenge before kickoff. It's even tougher now at 2-0 down. Let's see what Debs has to say. Boys, we've got to be better, man. We look like from the moment the game kicked off, we was waiting to get beat. I heard him ask for you to play with belief. I seen none of that until probably half hour up until they get their second goal. He'll talk to you about the defensive side, but let's have some urgency and something about us going forward. I can't agree more with what he said. It's like, every, nigh on everything I've written down, he's just he, he said. And you know what it feels like? It feels like last year. You've got a chance out there. But you give yourself a mountain to climb because it's just been meh. It's just been nothing. Happened, goes it. They're not even that's the disrespect you've got for yourselves. And they're not even celebrating their goals. Just a another day. So they tap walk back because they're expecting to roll you. Because you let them roll you over. Not being a ounce of energy about you. Come on. Come on. React. React. Big reactions. And we're underway for the second half. Misha takes the kick. Harry has to just send that one away. Nathan still didn't shoelaces up during that. It's not the ideal start. No changes for the tags. It's going to take something monumental. Dare I say, if we win this game now or even get a replay, it'd be one of the best results in our history, Seb. It's the, greatest, it's the greatest football result ever if it happens, yeah. Get with him. Support. Get it under, Sack. Get it under. He's just hard. He's got Don't his hands on him, hasn't he? Sack's doing well. He's done well. His hands are all over his shirt. I don't know how that's legal tender. Nathan Smith on the overlap. Puts it in. Left foot. Good ball. Oh. oh. Look, from our angle, oh, it looked like an own goal. But it actually was a good header away from a fantastic cross. Really good. I mean, the defender, I think, played everything into Sack's hands there. Just didn't want to get in front of him. Just let Sack bring the ball down. And Nathan on the overlap. That's the sort of thing, Spent Every time it's been from a cross, that's been when the danger's come. Better well done. Still nice. Flat. Here it comes. Camillo. It's got the height for it. And it's Camillo actually. It was Christo that jumped for that one actually. It was Camillo jumped for the second. Sack tries a little cheeky pass to Foxy, oh, but dear. he's lost two it. Two on two. Nathan holds him up at least, slows him down. He's Nash offside. Is, no, he's, he's on. Free. He's on side uh -oh. and he's in the box. Jermaine getting across. Don't let him back on his left. He wants it on his left. What a challenge oh, that is. From the new man. Challenge. Joe Christo, take a bow, my son. Welcome to the tags. Here comes the danger man, Liam Nash for Hornchurch. Commits bodies, gets harvest in on the right-hand side. Sack working back to the fend. Ball comes in low. Akin one day goes past one. But the shot was tame in the end. And Gids won't have a problem with that. Now. Let's come alive. Let's come alive. 
a 2 0, we're still in this game. We can't afford to concede a third. I know, oh no, 100%. 100%. Max, Max Corner. Lovely, Max. Come keeper's on, up his eyes. Shoot. Oh, I don't know if you knew how out of position uh, the goalkeeper was there, Sack. Camillo into the box. Red. though. That's he's going to get it. Oh, he's given, a, he's given a dive. He's given a dive against him. He might get a yellow for it. It was a bit delayed, but was there a foul? Crucially, we don't know. We've got no replay. There's not a massive complaint, is there? That's how you can often tell. It's a shame because I think he's done him. So if you don't go down, I think you've still got the ball in a yeah, good area. I, I think know. He beats the man, then he thinks, oh, I can have a pen here, and he thinks about it too much, goes down. Yeah. He booked him for diving. Yeah. It's better though, isn't it? At least he's in the right area. Yeah. It's a good run inside here from Green. He's been one of the best players for Hornchurch today in a team that's had a lot of good performances. That's oh, that's a ball for Nash. Left foot, good save from Goods. That would have been the game over if he hadn't made it. That is the ball that Nash wants, just in between the two defenders to run through to. And he's done the right thing. He's got the shot off early. It's a really good save from Gids, who's in that perfect position. Liam Nash, the Essex Mo Salah. He's got yeah. that about a minute. Off the right, left-footed, wants those chances. He's a bit more central than Salah is at times. Yeah, flag and he's onside then. here. Gids comes again and wins his battle well again. Played, Gids. Brilliant. He's had a good game. He had a really good game. He's been absolutely fantastic. Tell you what, Toby, Toby might be in here. Oh, their keeper's gonna have to come. Terry does well. He's massive, that Terry. Here you go, Camillo, on the ball here. Oh, he just gets it over to Sack. Sack, lovely little link up. Camillo in the box, corner, better. Sack, ball in, Cuba. Oh, it's, oh. it's his first goal for the club. Cuba Gordon, 2-1. This game's alive. And it's just got eerily quiet here at Hornchurch. Seb. Ben, we've said it all game. Everything hashtag have done. Every threat has come from a set play. And we've got our biggest lad forward there. Straight, done exactly what you want to do. Head into the ground. Keeper had no chance, really. And you're right, it has gone very quiet. And all of a sudden, we've got a heck of a fixture now. 20-odd minutes left. This is big. What an important goal that could be for Cuba Gordon, who, as we said, has really grown into the shirt in hashtag. You know, after a slow start from the whole team, the last few games, he's really come alive. Picked up man of the match against Billericay. He got an assist a few games ago as well. But that's a massive goal in what could be a game that is not over yet. Yes! Nathan Smith throws it in. Big header away. And Harvest does the same, but... Chris Do's there. Oh, no, he's got to get on the right side. Cornell hits over his own head. Aye, aye, Cleared. Aye. Here we go. Come on, boys. Oh. Camilo trying to find Cuba. Go on, Toby. Hit it in. Let's go. Oh, oh my not? God. He just needs to fall for us. Great That's challenge. Really good from Christo again, you know. Composure. Composure. Got a feeling he's going to be a real fan favourite here. Foxy puts it in low. Here it is. Sack. Oh, oh. my God. That was goal bound. That was 100% oh goal bound. Oh, my gosh. Massive deflection from Hornchurch. We have had a lot of chances oh, this game. We have there. now. They've had three in the last second. I think we've had as many as they have, if not more. But really good bodies oh. on the line and goalkeeper. Yeah, if, if, if we, we just score, it. the silence is going to be deafening. I'd rather Gids have it there. So he can play the ball. Let's see what Nathan can do. It's not a bad one. Towards Keeper Keeper. forward. Headed inside to Camilo. Camilo! Toby! Oh, Keeper's done well. It was there to go for. It yeah, was there to go it's, for. It's nothing in that, really. But you've got to say, just fair play to Mason Terry for being brave yeah, and putting yeah. his body where he needed to for his team there. He's been a very... You can tell he's played at a very high level, this guy. So young, so big, so committed. Joe Christie wants it. Joe he's, wants it. It's a bit like Ben it. Brooks, a little bit. Like a big brother of Ben Brooks. Crikey. Nathan. Sack. Really good, good closing down, good isn't it? Yeah, it is. You have to say, that's from Greenish. I think it's come to right back now. He was left centre back. He's come to right back. And they've put the left back in left centre back. I've changed the defence up basically. And here they come at the other end. Ball comes in low. Uh -oh. If it's a goal, it's over. What a save. Believable save. Wow. The strength of that right arm, left arm, from yeah. Giddo there. What Goodness me, that's such a difficult thing to save. What we're seeing from Gids here is the performance that we've all known he has in his locker. That's he hasn't had the opportunity incredible. to show us yet, but today he's been exemplary. McQueen on the ball, gets it out wide, gets it over to Saunders, the two substitutes linking up. 44th, last 45 seconds. It's a good tackle, that is from Christo. Camillo with the fast feet. Can we get it to someone? Can we get it up? Pedro, look at the one-two. That's a nice link up between these two. Camillo now couldn't oh. quite find Sakasan with that pass, and he needed to. He really needed to. A pleasing performance. Not a pleasing result thus far. 
But I think the tags have battled quite hard today. Yeah, and if we assume we're not going to get back in it, Seb, who would be a UFL player of the match? I mean, it's tight. I mean, I, I do think we defended ever so well. I mean, Cuba's got the goal, and I think he's had a very good game as well. But some of the saves that Jack Giddens has made today has been absolutely incredible. I think it's his best game in a hashtag shirt by far. Yeah, agreed. And without him, I mean, the game could have been very, very different to be fair. Their keeper was good as well, but... Today, I think my UFL player of the match is going to be Jack Giddens. I think he's been great. Good decision. They've gone in low. They have given us the ball here. Now, is the ref going to play on? No, he's not. He's going to blow the whistle. Shame the game ended like that with no injury time, really. Well, it was played, but nothing happened in it. But it is a loss. There's no shame in losing to a very good Hornchurch side, a very expensively assembled squad, as we all know, in the league above. Feels maybe like the one that got away. I think we had chances to win this game or at least get a replay. The second goal they scored, probably avoidable from our standpoint. But once again, promising signs for the rest of the season. The FA Cup dream is over for this year. We still have never got to that third qualifying round, maybe next year. Plenty more cups to come and an FA Trophy campaign to start. We still haven't got a win in that competition, so maybe it'll be our year to go deep in the FA Trophy. A tournament which does end at Wembley, a tournament which Hornchurch have won from step three, the league we're in. So dreams do come true, just not for us in the FA Cup this year. We'll see you on the next one. Head over to the Extra Channel for reaction. Up the tags.